Hey, it's Andy with IT Supplies. It's been nearly two and a half years since Epson launched their SureColor V7000 flatbed printer. This printer remains my favorite printer for under $100,000. It's the perfect blend of photographic print quality, amazing substrate versatility, and enough production throughput to satisfy most businesses. We have yet to find a visitor to our showroom that sees a print from the V7000 and questions the print quality, but almost everyone asks us for the ink costs. Today, we're going to print three files on three popular substrates, and we're going to break down the specific ink costs. Stay tuned. Today we're using our Epson SureColor V7000 to print on foam board, aluminum dye bond, and acrylic. These are three of the most common substrates our customers ask about and want to see printed. The vivid nine color ink set of the V7000 especially shines on premium substrates like metal and acrylic. I've said it before, but I would put the print quality of the Epson V7000 up against flatbeds that are five times as expensive. Today, all of our prints are going to be 16 inches by 24 inches, or 2.66 square feet. We're going to print all of these in quality bi-directional mode, which is the sweet spot mode that provides productivity and print quality. It took four minutes and 25 seconds to print each of these files. Remember that the staggered head design for the white ink channel means that you don't sacrifice any print speed when switching between color only prints or color and white prints. We're using Epson's cloud solution port software to give us actual ink usage per job for these prints. If you have a V7000 and need help getting this set up, please reach out to us and we can help you get this reporting set up. Okay, our first print here is on white foam board. We picked a 100% ink coverage, dark, heavy density file. This is possibly the most ink you could lay down on a substrate. We figured we would show you the very worst case scenario for ink usage, and then you can have a very conservative estimate to use in your own planning. Note that this print does not use white ink, so you can consider this ink usage to estimate your own applications that do not use white ink. So how much ink did we use? This image used 6.15 milliliters of ink to print at 16 inches by 24 inches. That comes to 2.31 milliliters per square foot. The inks for the Epson V7000 come in one liter bottles for $150 each. That means at a price of 15 cents per milliliter, this full print costs 92 cents in ink. On a per square foot basis, that comes to 35 cents in ink costs when printing a 100% coverage, heavy density file that does not use white ink. Our next prints are on aluminum dye bond. For this test, we printed these two different ways. Our first print uses only the colored inks and no white ink so that we can let that beautiful brushed aluminum shine through the ink. You can see that this produces a very metallic effect in the unprinted and printed areas. Printing the file with just the colored ink uses 5.95 milliliters of ink for this 16 by 24 inch image. And that comes to 89 cents ink total or 33 cents in ink per square foot. On the flip side, we've printed the same file, but using colored inks and white ink as an underlayer of all the areas in the file that have an image. That means that underneath all of the colored ink areas, there is an additional layer of white ink printed below it. This helps to block out the metallic shine from the ink areas and provides more contrast to the unprinted areas where the raw aluminum shines through. You'll also see that in the clouds and paint splatters, the white ink is also used without any color ink over the top. So how much ink does a file like this use? In this case, the colored ink usage is exactly the same as our first print because we haven't changed the color, colored ink being used. So again, it is 5.95 milliliters of colored inks. But now we've introduced white ink on this print. So we've used 5.29 milliliters of white ink as an underflood. So altogether, we used 11.24 milliliters of ink for a total ink cost of $1.69 for the 16 by 24 image or 63 cents per square foot. If you're using white ink in portions of your file, then this is an ink estimate that you can reference. Our final ink usage test is on acrylic. For this test, we've printed with a full white underflood. That means that the entirety of the image has white ink laid below it. This is the most common white ink, white ink method for acrylic prints, as otherwise you would see through the transparency and through to the surface of the wall or wherever this print is mounted. We picked this file because it shows the vivid red ink that is on the Epson SureColor V7000. 
For this file, we used 7.6 milliliters of colored inks and 6.94 milliliters of white ink for a total of 14.54 milliliters of ink. This 16 by 24 inch print costs $2.18 in ink total, or 82 cents per square foot. This is a good baseline estimate for acrylic or transparent second service prints that use heavy ink coverage and a full white ink underflow. So there you have it. These are a few of the common substrate and image scenarios that we see with the Epson V7000 and the amount of ink that each one used. If you'd like us to provide ink usage reporting with your specific files on your specific substrates, then please reach out to us at itsupplies.com and we'd love to help you validate and plan for your new product offering. This is the kind of content I love to make, so if you found this video helpful, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel to be notified when we post new videos like this one. Thanks and have a great day.